here we are. 10 days until I am driving from Denver, Colorado to Laguna Beach, California. Oh, God. This is a long time coming. I've been planning to live in California. I mean, in all honesty, since I was 13 years old when I saw the Laguna Beach MTV show. And I really made a promise to myself back then of you know, watching all these teenagers and their shenanigans and whatnot and just being like, I'm moving there. Like I am totally living there someday. And after visiting for a couple of years, um, just for vacations, I was like, yeah, I could totally see myself living here. It's just a perfect beach town. Um, extremely beautiful really reminds me of Hawaii, just like the small town kind of island vibes, if you will. And um, yeah, just really, really excited that now I'm going to call Laguna Beach my home. So I wanted to make this video to give you just a little bit of background of how I decided to move to this place, how it kind of all came into fruition and really what my next goals and chapters are going to be like. So I have been with my partner for 11 years and he's always known since day one when we started dating that my soul does not belong in Colorado. Um, I was there for undergrad. I was there for my full-time job. I was there for grad school. So it always felt like there was an excuse. There was always something holding me down, if you will, to Colorado. And eventually, you know, whenever I graduate, like whenever, like it's always like, I will live by the beach, right? Not necessarily Laguna Beach or whatever, Hawaii or anything, but just, I have to live at a beach. I just have to do it. It's just who I am. It's, it's similar to how people feel so called to the mountains. Um, this is just something I have to do. And, um, my partner and I have been really comfortable. We've loved really living in Colorado, making the best of it. And we had the intention of both of us moving out there, specifically San Diego. Within this past few years, I was looking at places out there um, for both of us to move. And I was, I was really you know excited about it, that this is gonna be a new chapter for us in our relationship. Um, we're already so strong. The foundation is already there. Trust and love and respect for each other. Let's move to California, right? And he was on board. Um, so it wasn't until a few months that finally, you know, we're coming on the end of our lease. And I actually was very, in, like, very intensely looking now at San Diego because our lease is coming up. And just checking right like is this still what you want to do right and i finally got an apartment for us meaning i had a bird in the hand all i need all we needed to do is just give the security deposit and then it would have been ours right it checked all of our boxes of where ideally in san diego we would like to live and as it turns out with this apartment kind of like on hold um he and I both decide that we're actually in different part, different points in our lives. We're on different paths. Um, he has things that he needs to figure out and I'm ready to take my life to this move. And he told me that he was not um, ready to commit to a move. And so respectfully, uh, and with so much love and friendship, um, we decided to go separate ways. And so he's going to stay in Denver and I'm going to go to Laguna Beach. And there is no hard feelings. There is just nothing but love and gratitude for our relationship. And this is just what I need to do. This is the chapter of my life that I'm ready for. And, you know, with all respect, now I can really just focus on me and focus on my values and you know, my career and the friendships I want to cultivate and just, it's really going to be a new lens and it's going to be for me. So I'm really excited for this journey. Have a lot of support from family and friends with this move and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, but so 
after, you know, we decided that we're going to go separate ways um, and I will continue my search for Laguna Beach or I'm sorry for San Diego. I was looking at studio apartments and nothing was happening. Um, nothing in my price range. Everything was selling like hotcakes. It was nearly impossible and I was feeling extremely defeated for a while of just this now solo hunt of crap. Now I'm on a deadline and I really we need to I need to go. Right. And so him and I were actually just looking at studios for me. He was helping me out and he sends me this link for Laguna Beach. And I was just looking at it and I was like, you know, this is a link on Zillow for a studio at, um, in Laguna Beach. And I was like, no way. Like Laguna Beach isn't even like something I even think about because it's so expensive. It's just like a fantasy. It's a freaking pipe dream, right? But I look at this link and it's legit and I apply and the next day I do a virtual showing and I ask all my questions and I submit all my paperwork and then I sign a lease. I signed the fucking lease and I got the apartment and I'm moving in the beginning of July. And it all just happened so quickly, so perfectly. There are so many synchronicities that made this align. And I'm on the beach. Like literally I throw a rock and the beach is right there. And I couldn't have asked for anything better. I couldn't have asked, you know, having so much thought and intention of it has to be San Diego and putting all my eggs in that basket. You know, God really had a plan. God really was like, hey, you're actually... You're going to you're going to live here. <laughs> and so I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited for this chapter. And the best part of it, the best part of this entire thing is I made a vision board in April 2021. And it had all these different pictures of the beach and clothes and words and whatever. And um, ironically, I used a Laguna Beach magazine to cut out these pictures because it was, you know, they're gorgeous beaches, whatever. Doesn't mean I have to live there, but I want to live in a beach. Kid you not, the photo that is right in the center of the vision board, absolutely smack down in the middle of the vision board, is the beach that's going to be my backyard. Absolutely had no intention. I had no idea this was going to happen. Like I, my jaw just dropped on the floor when I saw that vision board and was like, oh my God, this is it. This is it. Like manifestations real. Um, everything's aligning. I just feel really, really good about this move. So I'm now in the thick of it. I have boxes everywhere. Um, him and I are separating our things. Um, but it's so positive. Like everything's you know, it's sad, of course, right? But I'm really feeling positive with this move and just feeling really a lot of gratitude for how smooth things are going. So I'm going to do the road trip. Uh, we already got the U-Haul. I got all the things, all the things on the that you have to do, right, for moving. All of them's checked off my list and just feeling really surreal. It's not going to kick in until it kicks in, right? It's not going to... Um, it's not going to feel real yet until I'm actually there on the beach looking at the water and being like, holy shit, I live here. It hasn't really kicked in yet. But um, yeah, I'm just in the thick of it. And I just want to also encourage that it's okay that um, you can make a plan and have a little rough idea. But if it ends up being something completely different, that's cool too. And just to roll with that, right? And I've had to learn how to roll with things. Um and I just encourage anyone, if you have a vision to live in a different place, live across the world, let alone across the country, just do it. I know that's easier said than done, but the actual part of moving is not that hard. It's your, it's your mindset, 100%. If you believe you are capable and you're confident and you have a support system to back you up, nothing's going to stop you. And even if you don't have a support system, um, there's definitely people out there, especially on the internet, meetup groups, you know, Facebook groups, there's people that support this journey for you. And um, I'm just so grateful that I stuck to my vision, that Paige is a beach, a beach person. Paige is going to live here. She's going to try California for a year, signed a lease. We'll see where she, it takes her. 
but I'm just so excited to try this new step and I really just want to encourage anyone if you want to move if you want to start a new job do it see what happens you will never know the amazing things that will unfold um, but start with a vision start with that intention and that feeling that you wish to create and let it go from there so I will do another update as well I don't know when I'm not gonna promise that but I definitely will make another um, update either probably when I'm already living there of how things are going but I just wanted to fill you in on a little bit on my journey from Denver to Laguna Beach <music>